Hello and welcome to the channel. For today's video, we have a match between Doberman Pinscher versus German Shepherd. Let the best dog win. Finding the ideal dog for your family isn't an easy task. There are numerous dog breeds out there, each with its unique traits. Families looking for a dog for companionship and as a family pet commonly land on two breeds, German Shepherds or Dobermans. Can any choice be more challenging than choosing between a Doberman and a German Shepherd for your next dog? The truth is, both breeds have similarities. German Shepherds and Dobermans were both bred to help people. However, although you might think that they are both working dogs, they're not in the same category. A little bit of the history on both of them. The German Shepherd, many people associate German Shepherds with police operations. They've been used to sniff out illegal drugs and have served in the armed forces. The breed was developed by Captain Marx von Stefanitz in Western Germany in 1889. Dobermann Pinschers were also developed in Germany by Carl Frederick Lewis. Doberman. Like the German Shepherd, the Doberman is also a relatively new breed of dog, as it was standardized at the end of the 19th century. Round 1 Herding versus Working Group German Shepherds are part of the herding group. Herders tend to be easy to train and loyal. They gather the people or animals under their protection so that they can keep an eye on them. For this reason, they make great companions and are often used for protection work. Dobermans are in the working group of canines. The working group of dogs has fewer specifications. For example, a husky is a working dog because it can pull a sled. A Newfoundland was originally bred to help fishermen because it was such a good swimmer. One point for the German Shepherd, so it's one to zero. Round two. Physical differences and similarities. When it comes to physical characteristics, these dogs have just as many similarities as differences. The way they are similar is both are medium-sized dogs that range from 65 to 95 pounds and stand about 26 to 27 inches tall at one year of age. Both have a tendency to bark. Teaching them to uh, the quiet command may make your life easier and allow them to bark only when they're protecting you against intruders. Their difference is, while both of these dogs have an athletic build, Dobermans are taller and thinner, whereas Shepherds are stockier and shorter. Their back also slopes more more than Dobie's spines. So this is one point for Dobermans. One to one. Round three. Health comparison. Because of inbreeding, both breeds have an inclination toward certain ailments. However, this is an issue for all purebred dogs. The main health concern for German Shepherds are hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, cardiomyopathy, and cataracts. They should get regular checkups and have special attention directed to the joints. The main health concerns for Dobermans are heart problems, spinal instability, and hip dysplasia. Dobermans should have their hips and heart examined regularly. They should also be tested for von Wildebrand's disease, which is directly inherited and can cause serious blood loss from minor wounds. Generally, German Shepherds are healthier than Dobermans. One point for German Shepherds, so we're at two to one for German Shepherds. Round four. Personality differences. Herding dogs tend to be more intelligent than working dogs. However, Dobermans are one of the two working class canine breeds that have made it into the top 10 list of most intelligent dogs. Dobermans are number three on the list. So one point goes to Dobermans. We're tied two to two. Round five, training. Both breeds are highly intelligent, which means they're both trainable, but there is a difference in how to approach training. German Shepherds are known for their versatility. They can be trained for a variety of disciplines, from competition to herding to protection. Shepherds tend to be suspicious of strangers, and that's why early socialization is so necessary. Introducing a German Shepherd puppy to many different people and types of situations helps these situations be more agreeable later in life. Dobermans tend to be trainable, but their curious minds and cleverness can make them more challenging to train. Dobies tend to be aloof, for example, and that requires firm and consistent training from every member of the family. This is one reason Dobermans aren't great for households with young children, as younger children are less likely to be firm with the animal. One point for German Shepherd, so we're now at three to two. Round number six. How are they with children? 
According to the American Kennel Club, the German Shepherd is number two dog breed in the U.S. and it makes sense. German Shepherds make devoted and loving family companions. They're great with kids, but do require proper socialization and training to help them become comfortable around small children. With appropriate training, they're one of the most loyal and loving breeds for families. Dobermans, on the other hand, can be great with children as well, but they can develop aggressiveness without proper socialization and consistent training. Firm training and a watchful eye are necessary for ensuring bad habits around children don't materialize. Another point for German Shepherds, four to two for German Shepherds. Round seven, shedding. Shepherds are moderate shedders, which means they do require some grooming, even so, the GSD is low maintenance breed. Regular brushing is necessary for its thick coat and bathing is needed as well. Dobermans, on the other hand, are light shedders. They have a thin, sleek coat which requires very little grooming. So this round, one point for Dobermans. We're now at four to three. Round eight, exercise. German Shepherds are known for their high energy levels, and that's something that breeds both share. They require plenty of walks, large spaces for running around, as well as regular mental exercise in the form of obedience training. Shepherds don't adapt well to small areas. They need room to run around and aren't usually recommended for apartments. Dobermans tend to require daily exercise as well, but they are more adaptable breed. A Doberman likes daily walks, but can adapt to living in smaller space like an apartment. One point for the Doberman. So we're tied now, four to four. Round nine. Both breeds are highly intelligent, but there are some marked differences in personality. Round 10. Attachment to their owner. German Shepherd puppies develop an early attachment to their owners and always want to please. Dobies, on the other hand, tend to be more of aloof and are very intelligent. One point for German Shepherds for this round, five to four. Round 11. Both dogs have high levels of energy. But that's more so true of German Shepherds. Starting Shepherd puppies early with mental exercise and socialization are keys to developing an even temperament and helping your dog expend some of its natural energy. Another point for German Shepherds, six to four. Round 12. As far as aggression, both types of dog can be aggressive, tend to be less aggressive. That's one reason early and consistent obedience training is necessary for keeping this trait at bay. Dobermans, on the other hand, tend to display more aggression, especially when it thinks its owner is in danger. Consistent and firm training is necessary for both breeds, as it significantly reduces or eliminates aggression. One point for each, seven to five, in favor of the German Shepherd. Round 13, life expectancy. German Shepherds have an average life expectancy of seven to 10 years, whereas Dobies tend to live 10 to 12 years. A point goes to Doberman, seven to six. At end of the match, the results are German Shepherd seven and Doberman six. And the winner is the German Shepherd. What a close match. Both Shepherds and Dobermans make loving, loyal family pets, but that starts with a commitment to training. Dog obedience training should begin early with both breeds, which is indeed a consideration when choosing either. As far as which type is right, if you have a large backyard, have time to commit to daily exercise and mental training, and don't mind a bit of pet hair in the home, the German Shepherd makes a devoted and loving companion. If you live in an apartment, though, a Doberman may be the better choice. What is your opinion about this match? Don't forget to comment below. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.